Top 5 Amazing Mega Projects in India 2023 India, the second most populous country in the world, has been prioritizing infrastructure development with the aim of reshaping the economic future as well as enhancing livelihoods. With a vision to transform India into a developed country by 2047, a number of upcoming infrastructure projects have been identified as critical to the country's development. Billions of dollars have been invested to develop master plans, from international airports to high-speed rail and industrial corridor projects. We are going to discuss the top five futuristic mega projects in India. Before we go, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on the newest mega projects around the world. Number 5. Navi Mumbai International Airport Use $2.5 billion. To address the growing population and expanding economic influence in the Mumbai region, Navi Mumbai International Airport was inaugurated in 2021 and is currently under construction. The cost of construction is estimated at around $2.5 billion. Situated 35 kilometers from Mumbai Airport, the new airport is intended to relieve pressure on the city's current airport, which currently serves nearly 45 million passengers per year. The airport is being constructed in stages. The first phase, which is expected to be completed by December 2024, includes the opening of the runway, which will allow the airport to handle 20 million passengers per year. The entire project is set to be completed in 2032 with a capacity of 90 million passengers per year and will be able to handle 2.5 million tons of cargo. The Navi Mumbai International Airport stretches 11.4 kilometers, including two runways and enough space for 42 aircraft. However, several difficulties have arisen during the construction of the new airport. As a result, it has been put on hold and is likely to commence commercial operations in 2025 instead of 2024, aviation consultancy firm Kappa has said in a report. Number 4. Noida Jewer International Greenfield Airport. Cost of $4 billion. Noida Jewar International Greenfield Airport is another ambitious airport project that is expected to open in 2024 like Navi Mumbai International Airport, but it has twice the construction cost, which is 4 billion US dollars. Located in Jiwar, Uttar Pradesh, the project site is about 70 kilometers from Delhi's Indira Gandhi International IGI Airport. The new international airport is being developed by Flughafen Zurich AG Zurich Airport, Switzerland, which has been ranked among the world's best airports for years. The project is divided into a four-phase master plan, and it will handle almost 70 million passengers per year in the future. The first stage is supposed to be operational in 2024. Once complete, the project's final phase will comprise two runways and four passenger terminals, making it India's largest airport. Stretching over 1,334 hectares, Noida Jewer International Greenfield Airport's design is a perfect combination of Swiss efficiency and Indian hospitality, providing a seamless passenger experience and setting new sustainability benchmarks for airport terminal buildings in India. The airport aspires to be a local and regional hub while meeting international passenger standards. Number 3. Mumbai Ahmedabad High-Speed Rail Corridor Use $18 billion India is building its first high-speed railway, HSR Corridor, between Mumbai and Ahmedabad, which is expected to significantly reduce intercity travel times. The $18 billion project, launched in 2014 by the government, led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi, aims to establish a fast connection between Mumbai, India's economic and financial hub, and Ahmedabad, the state's largest city. 
The 508-kilometer project is part of a 650-kilometer high-speed rail corridor proposed to run from Pune to Ahmedabad via Mumbai. Once complete, the high-speed trains will travel at a speed of 320 km per hour over a distance of 508 km and 12 stations. The project's completion date has been set for December 2023. However, due to difficulties in acquiring land in Maharashtra, the timeline for completing the entire corridor has become uncertain. Nonetheless, the railways minister reported that 26% of the work had been completed. Number 2. Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor Project in India. Use $90 billion. The Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor, DMIC, is a $90 billion infrastructure project that stretches 1,483 kilometers between Delhi and Mumbai. The master plan includes several sub-projects, from new industrial townships to high-speed freight lines, from six-lane expressways to airports, ports, and power plants. The project was launched in response to an agreement signed in December 2006 between the governments of India and Japan. The billion-dollar plan's main goal is to build a fast, dependable trade route connecting India's north and south. The DMIC is being constructed focusing on three aspects of sustainable development – environment, economy, and society. This ambitious project aims at developing smart, sustainable industrial cities that will reshape the country's economic landscape. Number 1. Bharatmala Pariyojna in India. Use 130 billion plus. Costing over is 130 billion dollars, the Bharatmala Pariyojna is India's and Asia's largest project. The super project was launched in 2015 and developed and funded by Government of India. Bharatmala Pariyojana is a new smart program for the highway sector envisioned by the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways with the goal of improving the efficiency of freight and passenger movement across the country. It aims to build approximately 35,000 kilometers of new highways, including economic corridors, intercorridor routes, and feeder routes, among other things. The Bharatmala project will connect the headquarters of over 550 districts in India via a minimum four-lane highway, currently around 300 districts are connected with national highways. Phase Y of the Bharatmala Pariyojana has approved the construction of 34,800 km of national highways over five years from 2017 to 2022. Once complete, it is expected to transform India's road infrastructure promoting economic growth and attracting investment. The project, which aims to triple the revenue generated by national highways, lays the groundwork for a well-connected and economically robust nation. Number 1. Abrahamic Family House Three Homage Religious Spaces the United Arab Emirates, a prosperous empire famous for super skyscrapers, is a country with nearly 80% Muslim residents and is known for many of its gigantic religious sites. In 2023, this country welcomed a new homage participant to the Arab world. Abrahamic Family House is a collection of three religious spaces, a mosque, a church, and a synagogue located in the heart of the UAE on Sadiat Island in Abu Dhabi. As an architect, I want to create a building that starts to dissolve the notion of hierarchical difference. It should represent universality and totality, something higher that enhances the richness of human life. David Ajay 
The form of three architectures is conveyed from the three faiths, Muslim, Christian and Jewish, is meant to encapsulate their similarities. After four years of construction, the houses of worship are designed with equal stature, size and materiality to eliminate any sense of hierarchy. The Imam al tayyib Mosque is oriented towards Mecca, is named after the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, the leading authority on Sunni Islam. Its structure is made up of seven arches, which reflect the significance of the number seven in Islam. The most admired feature is the delicate latticework design to allow the light to filter through. Also preserve the privacy of those inside, whilst also maintaining a connection with the outside world. St. Francis Church, named after St. Francis of Assisi, a 13th century priest, is oriented towards the direction of the rising sun, which is representative of God. The columns of the building is designed to maximize the eastern light and emphasizes verticality to express the Christian faith. Typically, the vaulting of the church is made up of over 13,000 linear meters of timber. Moses Ben Maimon Synagogue, a space to welcome Jewish communities, its name Synagogue, honors the 12th century Jewish philosopher Moses Ben Maimon. The construction has a crisscross, diagrid facade, and soffit that represent palm trees used to construct a sukkah, which is used as shelter during Sukkot, the festival of shelter. Moreover, it provides sun protection and allows people to see the stars at night. Number 2. Uptown Tower First super tall tower in Dubai's Uptown District Uptown Tower, an 81-story skyscraper, is located in the heart of the new ambitious Uptown Dubai District developed by the Dubai Multi-Commodities Center. This mixed-use structure includes Grade A infrastructure, offices, residences, a five-star hotel, high-end restaurants, and retail space. With a height of 340 meters, standing out among the iconic skyline, nearly the same size as the Eiffel Tower, it became the first super-tall tower in Dubai's uptown district. Construction of the tower began in 2019. This opulent high-rise has an estimated cost of around $150 million and is supposed to be opened at the end of this year. Typically, the shape and light reflection properties of a diamond inspire the overall architecture's design. A faceted glass facade with 8,562 panels will allow abundant natural light while filtering out harsh glare. Covering a total surface area of 46,000 mispars, the process of installing the Uptown Tower's facade was completed using innovative technologies such as 3D modeling and digital tracking systems as part of an integrated design and manufacturing approach. By embracing innovative building practices, the project saw increased efficiencies, allowing the facade to be completed in the expected time. The construction will be powered by a 540 kWp solar system, setting a new world record for the largest solar plant on a construction site in the world. Number 3. SeaWorld The world's largest aquarium opened 2023. The construction of this next-generation marine life theme park is finally opening on Yas Island after five years of building. Compared to the 41 million litres of water in Chimelong Ocean Kingdom, China's biggest aquarium by the world record for years, SeaWorld Abu Dhabi has beaten China's marine life project to rank at the top of the list since its opening. Containing 58 million litres of water, the quantity of SeaWorld's water is estimated to be the same as 23.2 Olympic pools. This endless ocean is home to the Yas SeaWorld Research and Rescue Center, 
where specialists come together to push the boundaries of marine research and conservation. It is a world-class marine life theme park set to be home to more than 150 species of marine animals and hundreds of birds. It also has five indoor floors with marine habitats, journeys and immersive experiences. Stretching over a footprint of 183,000 square meters, visitors can discover a panoramic view of a variety of species from six distinct marine environments in this mini-ocean. Travelling from one fascinating location to another while encountering much of the ocean's diverse marine life allows visitors to broaden their knowledge and grow their appreciation for sea life. Abu Dhabi and the UAE have delivered long-standing marine conservation and SeaWorld Abu Dhabi signifies the start of a new chapter in regional and global marine life knowledge, conservation and sustainability, said Mohammed Khalifa Al Mubarak, chairman of Mirol Company, the owner and operator of the project. China's billion dollars of railway projects in the desert, hot, cold, dry, and empty are adjectives that are usually used to describe deserts. In China, there is a desert called Taklamakan, the world's second largest shifting sand desert, with about 85% consisting of shifting dunes, where the area is almost no sign of vegetation except the edges. However, to boost the economy of local people living around, a mega railway was constructed over the extreme conditions of no water, electricity, or cell phone signal, braving quicksand, sandstorms, extreme heat, and freezing temperatures. How China can build this railway? Let's discover it. First of all, just find out the reason why China invests a lot of resources to build this vast construction under the harsh conditions of the desert. The project named the Hotan Ruoqiang Railway connects Hotan City in southwestern Xinjiang to Ruoqiang County in the southeast, along the southern edge of the Taklimakan, the world's second largest shifting sand desert, with 65% of its length inside the desert. Xinjiang is an autonomous region of China located in the country's northwest. It is a vast expanse of desert and mountains about the size of Iran. It is divided into the Dzungarian Basin in the north and the Tarim Basin in the south by a mountain range and home to numerous ethnic minority groups, including Turkic Uyghurs. Since 1949, the economy of this once agricultural region has grown rapidly, with oil and petrochemicals accounting for roughly 60% of GDP. It is also a vital trade and pipeline route to Central Asia and beyond. However, because of their natural conditions, many places along the route were previously unconnected to the railway network, forcing locals to cross the Tian Shan Mountains to leave Xinjiang. High-quality specialties like cotton and dates, despite being produced in large quantities, were unable to reach the market due to inadequate transportation links. With a harsh ecological environment and a weak economic foundation, Four of the five counties served by Hotan Ruoqiang railway stations were previously impoverished. As a result, in 2018, the Hotan Ruoqiang railway project construction started to aim to put the development of Xinjiang. It is also called the project to have brought life to the desert since it will make transportation and logistics easier for Xinjiang specialties like cotton, walnuts, red dates, and minerals. It is also critical for promoting resource development, maintaining ethnic unity, consolidating border defense, and boosting rural vitalization along the route. China will complete the world's first railway loop around a desert, covering 2,112 kilometers and the vast Taklimakan Desert. The Taklimakan Desert, slightly smaller than Germany, contains 534 kilometer long Hotan Ruoqiang Railway, or 65% of its total length, and engineers have been dealing with wind and sand issues since construction began in December 2018. In 2022, a new section opened in northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region, according to state-owned railway operator China State Railway Group. 
The newly opened line is 825 kilometers long and travels at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour. It has 22 stations, 11 of which serve passengers and 6 of which serve cargo. Trains can travel the entire distance in 11 hours and 26 minutes. The railway line runs through the southern edge of the Taklimakan Desert, where sandstorms pose a significant threat to the railway. According to Wang Jinzhong, party chief of the Hodan Rocheng Railway's construction contractor, anti-desertification programs were implemented concurrently with railway construction. Five viaducts totaling 49.7 kilometers lift the railroad to protect it from sandstorms. Meanwhile, 50 million square meters of grass grids have been laid, with 13 million trees planted, including rose willow and sea buckthorn. Wang added that the green barrier of shrubs and trees not only ensures train safety, but also contributes to the improvement of the local ecological system. Engineers and workers also find it difficult to work under that harsh conditions. During the three years it took to build the Hotan Ruoqiang rail line, construction workers braved quicksand, sandstorms, extreme heat, and freezing temperatures while crossing 460 kilometers of uninhabited areas with no water, electricity, or cell phone signal. But their painstaking efforts have resulted in this extraordinary engineering feat, where passengers on a speeding train can enjoy views of the vast dunes through the windows. The Naya ruins, the ancient city of Andil, and a variety of other cultural sites line the road, each offering a unique view. For local people, the project is much more significant. Since the railway began operation, two passenger trains per day have been scheduled for the convenience of locals of all ethnic groups. Meanwhile, eight freight trains run daily, transporting local specialties out of Xinjiang like the Lanzhou Xinjiang Railway has enabled crude oil, cotton, and other resources from Xinjiang to be transported to other parts of the country. The Duku Highway, known as China's most beautiful road, has accelerated the development of resources such as coal and timber. The establishment and operation of China-Europe freight trains has increased Xinjiang's foreign trade market. At the same time, the new railway link may improve transportation to the international market. The region serves as the network's westernmost stop. With a renewed commitment to completing the China-Kyrgyzstan-Uzbekistan CKU route, the Desert Loop could also connect the region to Central Asian countries. For more information about CKU, the CKU railway, which was first proposed in the 1990s, is expected to be approximately 523 kilometers long, 213 kilometers in China, 260 kilometers in Kyrgyzstan, and 50 kilometers in Uzbekistan. The track, which is expected to cost $4.5 billion, will serve as part of the southern route for the China-Europe freight rail, with trains running from China to Europe via Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, Iran, and Turkey. This would cut travel time by approximately 900 kilometers in eight days, providing an alternative to the current Kazakhstan-Russia transit route. However, there have been construction delays on the road, CRBC personnel report extremely difficult conditions while building the road, including rain sweeping away temporary bridges, the construction of a high-altitude tunnel over 3,000 meters, and segments built next to the torrential Narin River. UAE's super projects opened in 2023. The United Arab Emirates is well known as a country with the most prestigious skyscrapers and the Burj Khalifa in Dubai holds the record for the world's highest building, standing at 828 meters. This year is a remarkable year in the UAE, with many incredible construction projects being completed. From gigantic multi-religion architecture to the world's biggest aquarium, the world's most prosperous empire is about to show off even more amazing wonders. Here are the most exciting construction projects to be completed in 2023. Before we go on, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see the newest mega projects globally, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Number 1. Abrahamic Family House. Three homage religious spaces. The United Arab Emirates, 
a prosperous empire famous for super skyscrapers, is a country with nearly 80% Muslim residents and is known for many of its gigantic religious sites. In 2023, this country welcomed a new homage participant to the Arab world. Abrahamic Family House is a collection of three religious spaces, a mosque, a church, and a synagogue located in the heart of the UAE on Sadiat Island in Abu Dhabi. As an architect, I want to create a building that starts to dissolve the notion of hierarchical difference. It should represent universality and totality, something higher that enhances the richness of human life. David Ajay The form of three architectures is conveyed from the three faiths, Muslim, Christian and Jewish, is meant to encapsulate their similarities. After four years of construction, the houses of worship are designed with equal stature, size and materiality to eliminate any sense of hierarchy. The Imam al tayyib Mosque is oriented towards Mecca, is named after the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar, the leading authority on Sunni Islam. Its structure is made up of seven arches, which reflect the significance of the number seven in Islam. The most admired feature is the delicate latticework design to allow the light to filter through. Also preserve the privacy of those inside, whilst also maintaining a connection with the outside world. St. Francis Church, named after St. Francis of Assisi, a 13th century priest, is oriented towards the direction of the rising sun, which is represented of God. The columns of the building is designed to maximize the eastern light and emphasizes verticality to express the Christian faith. Typically, the vaulting of the church is made up of over 13,000 linear meters of timber. Moses Ben Maimon Synagogue A space to welcome Jewish communities, its name Synagogue, honors the 12th century Jewish philosopher Moses Ben Maimon. The construction has a crisscross, diagrid facade and soffit that represent palm trees used to construct a sukkah which is used as shelter during Sukkot, the festival of shelter. Moreover, it provides sun protection and allows people to see the stars at night. Number two, Uptown Tower, first super tall tower in Dubai's Uptown District. Uptown Tower, an 81-story skyscraper is located in the heart of the new ambitious Uptown Dubai district developed by the Dubai Multi Commodities Center. This mixed use structure includes Grade A infrastructure, offices, residences, a five star hotel, high end restaurants, and retail space. With a height of 340 meters, standing out among the iconic skyline, nearly the same size as the Eiffel Tower. It became the first super tall tower in Dubai's uptown district. Construction of the tower began in 2019. This opulent high rise has an estimated cost of around $150 million and is supposed to be opened at the end of this year. Typically, the shape and light reflection properties of a diamond inspire the overall architecture's design. A faceted glass facade with 8,562 panels will allow abundant natural light while filtering out harsh glare. Covering a total surface area of 46,000 mispars, the process of installing the Uptown Tower's facade was completed using innovative technologies such as 3D modeling and digital tracking systems as part of an integrated design and manufacturing approach. By embracing innovative building practices, the project saw increased efficiencies, allowing the façade to be completed in the expected time. The construction will be powered by a 540kWp solar system, setting a new world record for the largest solar plant on a construction site in the world. 
Number 3. SeaWorld The world's largest aquarium opened 2023. The construction of this next-generation marine life theme park is finally opening on Yas Island after five years of building. Compared to the 41 million litres of water in Chimelong Ocean Kingdom, China's biggest aquarium by the world record for years, SeaWorld Abu Dhabi has beated China's marine life project to rank at the top of the list since its opening. Containing 58 million litres of water, the quantity of SeaWorld's water is estimated to be the same as 23.2 Olympic pools. This endless ocean is home to the Yas SeaWorld Research and Rescue Center, where specialists come together to push the boundaries of marine research and conservation. It is a world-class marine life theme park set to be home to more than 150 species of marine animals and hundreds of birds. It also has five indoor floors with marine habitats, journeys and immersive experiences. Stretching over a footprint of 183,000 square meters, visitors can discover a panoramic view of a variety of species from six distinct marine environments in this mini ocean. Traveling from one fascinating location to another while encountering much of the ocean's diverse marine life allows visitors to broaden their knowledge and grow their appreciation for sea life. Abu Dhabi and the UAE have delivered long-standing marine conservation and SeaWorld Abu Dhabi signifies the start of a new chapter in regional and global marine life knowledge, conservation and sustainability said Mohammed Khalifa Al-Mubarak, chairman of Mirol Company, the owner and operator of the project. We have just gone through the most outstanding works in the United Arab Emirates opened in 2023. From the homage to religious spaces to the world's largest aquarium or the first super tall tower in Dubai's uptown district, which high rise impresses you the most? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and follow for more. Five, impressive mega projects facing delay in the world, 2023. Billions of dollars were invested to carry out ambitious projects around the world, but they ended up delaying for years. From a huge international airport to massive railway line projects, even in the most prosperous nations, they are finally put off. What are the reasons? We will look into five of the world's most delayed construction megaprojects and the obstacles that prevented them from being completed on time. Before we go, thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to our channel to learn more about mega projects around the world. Number 1. Navi Mumbai International Airport, Mumbai, India To cope with population growth while also expanding economic influence in the Mumbai region, the The Navi Mumbai International Airport project was made aims to relieve pressure on the city's existing airport, which currently serves nearly 45 million passengers per year. Designed by Zaha Hadid Architects, the project was first proposed in 1997. Despite receiving approval in 2008, the project has encountered significant challenges, primarily due to disagreements between various government departments and concerns surrounding the environmental impact. Financial difficulties have also hampered the project, causing the initial budget of U692 million to balloon to U21 billion. Furthermore, due to the aftermath of the COVID-19 pandemic, construction was temporarily halted once more. The Navi Mumbai International Airport will cover over 1160 acres and the airport has enough parking space to accommodate 10 Code C aircraft. Fortunately, the new airport is currently under construction, which will be built in stages. 
The first phase, which is expected to be completed by December 2024, will allow the airport to handle 20 million passengers per year. The entire project is set to be completed in 2032, with a capacity of 90 million passengers per year. Meanwhile, when it comes to cargo, Navi Mumbai Airport will be able to handle 2.5 million tons by 2032. Number 2. Stuttgart 21 Rail, Stuttgart, Germany Stuttgart 21, or the Stuttgart-Ulm Railway Project, is an infrastructure project being undertaken by the railway company Deutsche Bahn to improve the railway connection between Stuttgart and Ulm in Germany. Typically, the railway is European trunk line, Paris-Vienna, within the framework of the Trans-European Network. The renovated Stuttgart is at its heart, placed between 57 kilometers, 35 miles of new railway, including 30 kilometers, 19 miles of tunnels, and 25 kilometers, 16 miles of high-speed lines. In April 1994, the project was officially announced. Commenced in 2010, with total cost was officially estimated in March 2013 at $6.5 billion, up from a previous estimate of $4.5 billion in 2009. Deutsche Bahn estimated the total cost in March 2022 is $9.15 billion. Increasing construction costs and strict environmental laws, including the relocation of thousands of lizards in 2017, have caused delays in completing the massive new train station and several associated tunnels. These structures are approximately 50 miles from the railway tracks. Fortunately, Stuttgart 21 currently put back on track for completion in 2025. Number 3. Hinkley Point C, Somerset, England Hinkley Point C, HPC, nuclear power plant, is developed by Electricité de France, EDF, in Somerset, UK. The plant is the biggest building site in Europe, with 430 acres of muddy fields scattered with towering cranes and bright yellow diggers. This first new nuclear power station in the UK since 1995 will be the most expensive power station in the world as it is fully completed. Construction began in September 2016, and the first unit of the plant is expected to be operational in 2027. The 3.26 gigawatt plant is expected to generate 26 terawatt hour of electricity per year over its 60-year operational lifetime, which is equivalent to 7% of Great Britain's forecast electricity demand in the 2020s. The plant's power will supply electricity to 6 million homes and offset 9 million metric tons of carbon dioxide emissions. During construction and operation, the project is expected to generate 25,000 jobs. However, the ambitious project has been encountering several obstacles, including financial, political, and technical difficulties. The cost of this contentious megaproject continues to rise. In 2016, the estimated cost was $23 billion. Currently, the price is indicating a staggering $39 billion given inflation. The onset of construction delays can be attributed in part to the pandemic, which required work suspensions in order to adhere to social distancing protocols. By May 2022, the developer had extended the deadline to 2027. Number 4. Gulf Railway Line, Middle East The Gulf Railway project was launched in 2009 with the goal of connecting all six Gulf Cooperation Council GCC, members by rail, connecting major urban centers in the region such as Riyadh in Saudi Arabia, Dubai in the UAE, and Kuwait City. Each member state is responsible for the construction efforts within its own territory which spans a total distance of 2,110 km. The initial projections indicate a budget of approximately $14 billion 
and an operational start date of 2018. The Gulf Railway project has been in the works for years, but it was hampered by a drop in oil prices in 2014. The scheme was given new life in 2021, when all member states met in Alula, Saudi Arabia, and reaffirmed their commitment to the line. Currently, the UAE is the only country to have made much in the way of progress. Number 5. Vaudel Electric Generating Plant, Georgia, USA Located in Burke County, near Waynesboro, Georgia, U.S., the Vodal Electric Generating Plant stretched over 3,200 acres of land along the Savannah River. It consists of Units 1 and 2, which went into service in 1987 and 1989, respectively, with a capacity of 2,450 milobattle. Units 1 and 2 provide enough electricity to power 600,000 homes. Construction on Vodals 3 and 4 began in June 2012, took much longer than expected to complete, and was much more expensive than initially forecast. Unit 3 of the project was estimated to be operational in 2016, followed by the activation of Unit 4 in 2017. However, the devastating Fukushima disaster in Japan in 2011 halted progress, and the cost of construction also soared. Both reactors have risen to $30 billion so far, instead of $14 billion as initially estimated, and Unit 4 is still not operational. According to current projections, Unit 3 will be operational by June 2023, with its reactor expected to connect to the power grid in early April. Meanwhile, Unit 4 is being tested and is expected to be operational by 2024. The common thing that puts all of the projects on hold is a lack of finance. So do you think those mega projects will eventually be completed as estimated in the future? Let us know your thoughts. Thank you for watching and follow for more. The Palm Islands. What happened to Dubai's biggest palm dera? In the Persian Gulf, rises magnificent wonders of the world. Beginning in 2001, long before the Burj Khalifa was built, Dubai planned to make a name for itself with a billion-dollar artificial island project. The Dubai Palm Islands, shaped like palm trees, were an ambitious mega-project developed by Nakheel. The project included three opulent islands, Palm Jumeirah, Palm Jebel Ali, and the Deira Islands. Before we deeply dive into the problems occurring with the third one, we will go through the first two completed islands real quick. Number 1. Palm Jumeirah Work got started in 2001 with the $12 billion project, and by 2004, the land and basic infrastructure were in place. Palm Jumeirah is the first and smallest of the three projected Palm Islands, which began in 2006. One year later, the first residents moved to the island. Since it was completed, Palm Jumeirah has become one of the world's most recognizable man-made islands that is home to nearly 80,000 inhabitants, providing many luxury amenities like opulent hotels and resorts, pristine beaches, around 2,500 beachfront mansions, as long as further 6,000 apartments. One remarkable thing about the island construction is the materials used. The team used only sand and rock to build the island's base, rather than steel or concrete. Despite the fact that Dubai is surrounded by desert sand, they were unable to rely on the Emirates' abundant resources. Stretching 56 kilometers in Dubai's coastline, a total of 120 million cubic meters of sand had to be extracted and transported from the bottom of the Persian Gulf. More than 7 million tons of rocks were extracted from the northern Hajar Mountains of the UAE. This 560-hectare island comprises the 11-kilometer-long crescent-shaped breakwater 
that protects the island from large waves and high winds. Visitors can reach Nakheel's new 360-degree observation deck, 52 stories high, or from iconic landmarks Burj Al Arab to view the masterpiece of Palm Jumeirah. Number 2. Palm Jebel Ali Twice the size of Palm Jumeirah, the other palm-shaped archipelago, Palm Jebel Ali, covers an area of 13.4 square kilometers. Located within Jebel Ali District, Dubai, it takes only 35 minutes to get to the Palm Jumeirah from Jebel Ali. This gigantic island was dredged in 2002 before construction stopped in 2008. However, according to the timeout, this master plan has been revitalized after years of being on hold. The Highness Sheesh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, has announced twice the size of Palm Jumeirah with 110 kilos of shoreline, the beaches and greenery will offer its residents a good quality of life and its visitors and tourists will be able to enjoy over 80 hotels, malls and attractions. This island will be home to over 80 hotels and resorts, as well as a diverse range of entertainment and leisure facilities. Furthermore, Palm Jebel Ali will be a global benchmark for waterfront living, with mixed-use, walkable neighborhoods that incorporate smart city technologies and sustainability practices. Renewable energy sources could meet up to 30% of Palm Jebel Ali's energy needs. After a launch in 2023, the project is to offer two types of villas, coral villas and beach villas. Agents began queuing to be among the first to purchase property on Dubai's Palm Jebel Ali amid a citywide frenzy for luxury real estate. Hundreds of people waited outside developer Nakheel's sales center to snap up the first available properties on the man-made island and to put down payments on 5.4 million in homes. Number 3. Palm Dera Two out of three Palm Island projects have been successful, so how about the future of the third gigantic development? Now is the time to explore what happened to the final Palm Island, Dubai's largest Palm Dera. Palm Jumeirah construction began in 2001, followed by Palm Jebel Ali in 2002. Nakheel announced the final island in 2004, and construction on Palm Dera began a year later. Palm Dera was planned to be the largest artificial palm-shaped archipelago in the country. Covering 49 million SQM, it is estimated to be almost eight times the size of Palm Jumeirah on completion and requires 60% more sand to be built than Palm Jumeirah. Khalid Dimas, Palm Dira's Director of Marine and Infrastructure, stated that 1.2 billion cubic meters of sand would be reclaimed for the 42 million square meter development and that up to 4,000 construction workers, whose tasks range from moving rock to constructing the nine power substations and a sales center would arrive on the site each day. Reclamation work on the final gigantic island, including its trunk and 12 fronds, was projected to be completed before 2014. However, due to the financial crash of 2007-2008, construction on Palm Jebel Ali and Palm Dera was put on hold. While Palm Jebel Ali has resumed, the rest of the ambitious project was renamed the Dera Islands by Nahil in 2013 after staying dormant for the past six years. And until August 2022, the project rebranded as Dubai Islands. The novelty development is currently under construction and will eventually cover 17 square kilometers across three man-made islands. You can visit Souk Al Marfa right now a modern indoor Arabian market with charming arabesque shops, elegant pavilions, and waterfront restaurants. Once completed, this bustling marketplace will house 7,000 businesses and nearly 100 hotels, ranging from low-cost options to luxury resorts. 
The Palm Islands of Dubai, with their audacious designs and massive scale, redefine the future of the prosperous Emirates. Palm Jumeirah stands proudly as a symbol of achievement, while Palm Jebel Ali awaits its turn to shine. Palm Dera, with its ongoing evolution, signifies Dubai's ability to transcend boundaries and adapt to changing circumstances. Do you like the redeveloped archipelago of Palm Dera? Let us know your idea. Stay tuned to get more information about the gigantic Dubai Islands and other mega projects. Thank you for watching and follow for more. The top five gigantic projects for 2023 and beyond. From a luxury oasis in Las Vegas to an ambitious plan to transform Tokyo's skyline. From a futuristic plan to revitalize a civilization to an insanely designed project known as Mega Projects of Death. Which one is the most gigantic project for 2023 and the forthcoming years? Number 5. Fontainebleau, Las Vegas. A luxury oasis. U 3.7 billion dollar. The world's center of entertainment, Las Vegas, is set to welcome a new participant to its dynamic landscape. Almost 23 years for planning, the construction cost of 3.7 billion dollars, it is getting ready for its grand opening in December 13th, 2023. This Fontainebleau, Las Vegas, promised to bring a pivotal time in the history of Las Vegas as the luxury oasis aims to transform the city's luxury hospitality and entertainment industries. This enormous resort rises to an astounding 67 stories and spans a over 100,000 square meters in the size of 18 football fields. It provides 3,644 guest rooms and suites when it opens, ranking among the biggest hotels in Las Vegas and be the tallest hotel structure in all of Nevada. The lavish amenities at Fontainebleau Las Vegas surpass all expectations. With over 150,000 square feet of gaming space, there are countless entertainment options for guests. In addition, the resort has 36 original first-to-market restaurants and bars that satisfy every palate as well as a 3-800-seat theater. Number 4. Taranamon Azabudai District, Tokyo's Skyline Transformation, $5.4 billion. Taranamon Azabudai District, a modern urban village, has been constructed to revitalize a large area of central Tokyo. The existing piece of land had not been redeveloped since the historic Second World War and was in a state of decay. The project became an opportunity to help the area reach its potential and become an exceptional new public district for the city. There are three new high-res towers are built out in the skyline of Tokyo, along with a wide range of amenities, including residences, stores, lavish hotels, spas, a school, and a temple. Its size will be about 81,000 meters, which is similar to Rockefeller Center in New York, and will feature extensive greenery totaling 24,000 dollar metod, including a 6,000 metro central square. Construction started in 2019. This mega project was supposed to be completed in 2023 with estimated price of 5.4 billion USD. Two significant hubs will be unveiled as part of its massive Taranamon Azabudai redevelopment project in 2023. The Taranamon Hills Station Tower is first in line, opening on October 6th. Right after is the Grand Azabudai Hills Complex, almost the same height as the Eiffel Tower, opening on November 24th, 2023. The project which is being built utilizing state-of-the-art seismic designs and technologies, aims to create a safe city where people can continue to live and work in the event of an earthquake, even on the scale of the Great East Japan earthquake. Number 3. 
JFK Airport Renovations Preparing for the Future Use $9.5 billion JFK Airport John F. Kennedy International Airport is the main airport serving New York City, opening in 1948. With a vision to transform JFK into a world-class airport, a renovation of the former terminal was given, New Terminal 1, NTO. Originally planned for 2020 with an expected construction cost of $9.5 billion, this project was delayed due to the COVID pandemic. After the entire project is completed in 2030, New Terminal 1 will become the largest terminal at JFK International Airport. From the existing Terminal 1, the 59-year-old Terminal 2 and the former Terminal 3, which was demolished in 2013 with a footprint of 222,967 Bavidian meters, the new terminal will represent the revitalization of the outdated Terminal 1 providing over 10,000 jobs, comprising 23 new gates and luxury amenities for passengers upon completion. Number 2. Trenmaya – Means of Rail Transportation – Use $10 Billion Hidden beneath the vast canopy is a place that preserves thousands of years of history about a mighty ancient civilization. The ancient Maya Empire on the Yucatan Peninsula, Mexico. Behind the lush green of the jungle on the peninsula, a railway project called Tren Maya has been constructed with the aim of prompting economic and social development in Mexico. It will connect the major cities, industries and tourist regions of the air and land communication routes of the Mayan region. Its stations will be built over 1,500 kilometers and throughout five states, Chiapas, Tabasco, Campeche, Yucatan and Quintana Roo construction work began in 2020, with the first section of the Intercity Railway project set to open in December 2023. The project will create thousands of jobs, encourage the country's tourism industry, thus enhance the quality of life for inhabitants. However, environmental and indigenous groups have criticized the project's construction that it has devastated parts of the jungle and indigenous land as the railway cut through. The Mexican government admitted that more than 3.4 million trees have been felled, despite the president's promise that no tree would be felled. Regional indigenous and popular councils described the project as mega projects of death and ecocide. Number 1. New Administrative Capital – Egypt's Futuristic Hub – Use $59 billion This is Cairo, the capital and biggest city in Egypt, where the parliament has met for over 150 years. However, in 2015, the Egyptian government announced the capital would move to an empty desert, about 50 kilometers away, with construction beginning the following year. The plan includes a new presidential palace, a new parliament building, and space dedicated for foreign embassies, new buildings for various government administrations, and a housing for six million of residents. Egypt's government, led by President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, claimed that this mega-project is a solution to the overpopulation issue. With 153,000 people per square kilometer at its peak, the populous city has a population higher than New York, London, and Shanghai. Egypt's new administrative capital is the most ambitious of a series of mega-projects being built by a president determined to reshape Egypt, having taken six years and costing an estimated $59 billion. Eight-lane highways swoop across Cairo's crumbling streets, skirting ancient tombs and the Giza pyramids. Freshly constructed massive bridges span the Nile. A new summer capital gleams on the Mediterranean coast near the city of Alexandria. Until now, many of the super skyscrapers are rising from the desert. This is also home to the tallest building in Africa, the iconic tower in the central business district, CBD, of Egypt's new administrative capital, Ein NAC, 
built with the assistance of China State Construction Engineering Corporation CSCC Egypt The tower stands 385 meters tall 150 meters higher than the Leonardo in South Africa known as a symbol of the new Egypt We have just explored top 5 mega projects in 2023 and beyond. Do you think all of those plans will be successful or turn out useless ultimately? Share your opinions in the comments below. Thank you for watching and follow for more.